sense. They, 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 that's why a lot of conservatives work so hard to overturn affirmative action in Title IX. They, cannot, they, they, they do not want a, a level playing field. They also don't want voices from the left or from any kind of socially progressive area having mainstream media time. But now having said that, the difference between this anti-war movement and many others is this is not a lefty, um, uh, easily marginalized fringe group. Right. This is a huge, vast mainstream resistance and it's pe filled with people who have never been political in their lives because so many people around the world and domestically know that there's something wrong with this. They, they cannot connect the dots. They have not been given information. It does not make sense that Iraq is the number one threat to us. And they are not. Right. And, Some it, people have know. said this is probably the, the least substantial argument the right wing mm -hmm. has ever had. There's really very mm -hmm. little content to it. Uh, but you personally have been attacked by websites like freerepublic.com. Right, they, they attack. You know, like I said, they, they, it's not personal. They, there's plenty of... Uh, of their sociopathology to go around. You know, they're the freeps and all these types on, on the right. They, they, uh, they are the minority, but um, unfortunately the squeaky and unstable wheel gets the grease. Right. And they are clearly the squeaky and unstable wheel in this culture. So it appears that they're very large and powerful. Have there been counter freeps? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure there has been. And, and you know, common sense is a counter freep. You know, any, any, the, the average person and their sense of decorum and decency is a counter freep. You know, these, like I said, these people are, are uh, morally tethered to nothing, really. They just love, the, you know, and they're, and they're sticking, you know, it's called sticking on the internet how many hours some of these people will stay with a site or... Right, stickiness. Uh, the stickiness. These people are, are capable of great stickiness, you know, right. which tells you also a lot about where they're coming from. Well, you had a great comment earlier. We were talking about freerepublic.com compared to buzzflash.com mm -hmm. and how freerepublic.com is mostly made up of conjecture and postings. Well, well, yeah, they, they are all post. about assertions, whereas, you know, buzzflash is about news. And right. A lot, of pro a lot of the problem with the right wing is they, they value assertions over, over factual right. information and they, uh, they value sound bites, talking points. They, they, their message is essentially um, uh, very Darwinian, actually. You know what I mean? It's a very, very Darwinian uh, message. It's, it's, it's the politics of exclusion. Well, and speaking of Darwin, you're not going to like this, but mm -hmm. I was on uh, freerepublic.com earlier today and there was a message board about Rachel Curry. Mm -hmm. The woman, young woman who just died in the Middle East uh, by the, yes, being run over right. by a bulldozer. Mm -hmm. And somebody says, somebody on free, freerepublic.com said, Darwin is not nice. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, it's, it, well, well, you know, the, the, as we were discussing earlier, see, what, if we can break down the conservative movement in a certain way, if I can just say this. The conservative movement is not inherently evil. You know, there's nothing wrong with the tenets of fiscal prudence, small government, personal accountability. That's not what we're talking about. Uh, what and you we're have, talking do, about... With, do you have favorite conservatives? I, I, like, uh, I like Thomas Friedman. I like, I like John McCain. You know what I mean? I, I mean, there's various and sundry uh, arguments to be made in favor of conserva but, conservatism. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about honorable conservatism. What we're talking about here, you and I, and where the celebrity bashing comes in or the bashing of the anti-war movement or any socially progressive cause is two different elements that have called themselves members of the conservative movement or the neoconservative movement. And that is one element of society which is not particularly sophisticated, not particularly uh, able to think critically about the news, not particularly desirous of being well informed. They prefer their news sort of the way Fox News gives it or the New York Post, which is very black and white, very aggressively bumper sticker-ish, jingoistic, reactionary. Um, they report, they decide, they tell you how to think. Right. Okay, that's, that's one element. Then unfortunately you have a much more dangerous element that calls themselves conservative, which is people who are racist, misogynist, and homophobic. And they move towards the GOP or the right wing uh, because they know that they are provided political cover. They know they can wrap their character defects in the flag, hide it behind Jesus, and claim the moral high ground. So that's really where the problems are for any socially progressive movement or peace movement is, is, that, is the, those rogue characters in, in that arm of the conservative movement. I wanted to ask you about historical precedents that you might have in mind about cultural resistance. And not only in, in theater, I think there's probably more that can come to mind in theater, but maybe in film. And uh, uh, do you have any models 